Yeah. Hello, everybody else. Yeah. Who's going on? Mario. Yeah, Mario. Mario. Yeah. Do we have a on the way? Yeah. You got a pulse? No. Okay. Okay. He's still holding his head up. Try to say I'm on chain, we need a PA sap. No pulse. No pulse. Are you sure? Go, go, go. After about eight minutes on the ground, the man became unresponsive. Police rolled him over and immediately started doing chest compressions. Our crime reporter Henry Lee tells us the family is calling the death of Gonzalez a murder. Do me a favor, Mario. No, I didn't do nothing. Mario, please don't resist us, okay? This is Alameda police body cam showing officers trying to detain Mario Gonzalez. Neighbors had called police saying he appeared to be on drugs. Put your, put your hands behind your back, okay? Within a few moments, there's a struggle as officers put him to the ground near South Shore Center. Gonzalez later died. The cause of his death is under investigation. Say his name! Gonzalez did not have to die. My family and I saw the footage and we know what really happened. Earlier Tuesday, Gonzalez's brother and mother and their supporters lashed out at Alameda police outside the department. They know how they're right to kill him. We humans, I feel so mad, I feel, I feel sad. The family has viewed some body camera footage showing what led up to Gonzalez's death. Alameda police officers murdered my brother Mario. He said his brother did not die of a medical emergency during a scuffle, as police have said. He said his brother did not attack the officers. The footage shows officers on top of Mario while he was face down on the ground. They had their weight on his head and his back. He was complying and they continued to pin him down with their weight. The family says Gonzalez was restrained for at least five minutes. Officers were called about a man who appeared to be under the influence and was possibly suspected of stealing liquor from Walgreens. For that, Mario is paying with his life. It's outrageous. Family's and attorney, Julia Sherwin, says Gonzalez's final moments were excruciating. Having his life pressed out of him as he was asking the officers not to do that. From his perspective, this would feel like torture. Three officers have been put on paid leave. Their actions are under investigation by the Alameda County Sheriff's Office, the DA's office, and an attorney hired by the city of Alameda. Henry Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.